another review of the Samsung Galaxy AO3. Now, according to the specs I've seen on the internet, it has three gigs of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. The camera, which is the back camera, has two lenses, one 48 megapixels and the other is two. The selfie camera has five megapixels. But since that is not all, we are actually going to check what's inside the box and see the real specs. Let's go. Okay, so here is the phone, as you can see, Galaxy AO3 with a 24 month warranty from Africa, of course. So let's open it and find out what it actually has. Uh, Samsung, as you can see, it's black. All right, so it has an Infinite V display and a dual camera and a battery, which is, by the way, I forgot to mention is 5,000 milliampere battery. Yeah, so far the one I have is black. So let's see what else is in the box. Let's put the phone aside. In here we have the, I guess the instruction manual. Yeah, this is the instruction manual that comes with every device you've ever seen on earth. It has a micro USB 2.0 charger, as you can see. Uh, this is the plug and here, is the USB 2.0 charging cable. All right, so here it is. SIM card tray ejector. Uh, whoever still has this uh, on their phones, Manze, that's a responsible person. So let's put it aside. So unfortunately, when it comes to the earphones, yeah so the phone itself is it's kind of according to the weight it's kind of a bit heavier than i thought it would be and it doesn't have the external cover again that's something i forgot to mention it doesn't have an external cover but even without the external cover it's a, quite a heavy phone as you can see it has the uh, two lens at the back and an led flash and a selfie camera which is five megapixels so let's start it and see what it has welcome screen as usual and as we all do we just have to lie that we have read all the agreements which i haven't and let's click next copy apps and data uh, which lets you transfer uh, data from your previous old phone download a smart switch so they say a smart switch brings your phone data from your old phone oh yeah let's move on okay i won't put this in for now all right so we are all set up uh despite the some of the things that we haven't input i have to say the resolution of this phone is quite amazing the screen has a refresh rate of 60 hertz uh, which is quite good uh, according to the phone's capability the screen size is 6.5 inches and uh, with a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels all right now when it comes to the ram and the storage of this phone i've got to say it's quite amazing and uh, yeah I would say it's something that cannot just hang unless maybe you overload it with too much games. Uh, as you can see with today's games and other applications, technology keeps on improving. So you have to keep on improving your device as well in order to run the apps smoothly. And the phone itself comes with the usual Google apps, that is the Google uh, search. The Chrome application for browsing, the Gmail, YouTube, and uh, the Google Maps as well. And also it comes with the Facebook app, Play Store app. Wow, OneDrive, I never expected that, but anyway. The camera app as usual and the other apps, well, from the Galaxy Store all the way to the contacts. Now let's look at the camera. 
The camera app itself has the portrait mode, the normal photo mode, the, bit, the video mode and other kinds of uh, settings as well. It also has the panorama mode, the food mode which I'm yet to try. The, the photo mode in this in this phone works uh, it's quite good. Uh, here are some of the photos that I actually took in different modes. So the camera itself is able to capture a video with uh, 30 frames per second and at a resolution of, um, of 1080 pixels. The selfie camera on the other hand, like I said, has a three, uh, five, five megapixels camera. Let me just say it works best in daylight, but it's not something that you can use uh, in the dark. Now when it comes to the audio, it has a loudspeaker at the bottom and as you can see here is the charging port and it also has a 3.5 uh, audio jack which you can use to connect your normal earphones and headphones as well. So the phone itself also has other features like digital well-being and parental controls which uh, mostly enable you, as the word well-being says, uh, they mostly help you manage your life and as you can see it has the focus mode which makes you uh, which makes your phone quiet or uh, mutes your phone when you are maybe busy or doing something it also has the bedtime mode which you can use if you want to keep your distractions away when you're sleeping and it also has the driving monitor which you can use when you're driving your vehicle. The biometrics and security have uh, face recognition. This phone does not have a fingerprint sensor. So the only security settings as far as screen lock is concerned are the swiping to unlock, uh, putting in your pattern, pin, password, or even none. That is if you want your phone to get stolen and not recover it and it also has the face recognition as well all right so this phone goes for around 15,000 kenya shillings all the way to uh, some some suppliers may sell to you at 17,000 kenya shillings be it on jumia or in any other platform and i can say it's quite um it's quite worth it. The only disappointing thing I had to say is that uh, why they never put, is why they never put a fingerprint scanner. I mean, the other phones which are quite cheaper than this and they still have a fingerprint scanner. And also the other thing I wasn't, I was not happy about is the camera. Now, when it comes to daylight, the camera works pretty fine, but when it comes to uh, low light settings, uh, it's quite a nightmare uh, based on other phones that I've used. But anyway, the speed is quite okay. It has an octa-core uh, Unisoc processor. That's all I can say about this phone. The other features are quite amazing. The audio, from the audio to the, to the RAM and to the storage, it's quite okay. The thing that I would say is great about this phone is the screen resolution and the refresh rate as well. Make sure you give me your comments below about this phone. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, that's all I have to say about this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.